joined by one of the city's movers and shakers, Mr. Yeah. John Hawkins. Hawk, in interest of time, I will not embarrass you by reading off your resume in its totality. Just safe to say that everything cool in the city you've either been around or involved in, including the bringing of the USS right. Midway Museum to the Bay. So for that, we thank you. Uh, you're pinch hitting tonight for uh, John McLaughlin, uh, McLaughlin for uh, Mac. Is, Mac. <laughs> he's got laryngitis, right? Yeah, poor guy. Uh, so you're, you're sitting in for him as the past chairman of the Midway. Uh, can you speak to the excitement that the gala has brought to the hangar bay? Oh, it's just the best of it. It's electric. There was the centennial of uh, naval aviation, 100 years of naval aviation, just was born in San Diego. That was electric. This is dynamite. It is so fun. And so many young people that are just excited to all be there together to celebrate, you know, what they do in high school. One of the things, the reason why I think the fit works is the same qualities it takes to be a good student athlete, also are the same qualities it takes to be what you're trying to promote, great Americans. Could you expand on that thesis well, a little bit? And I think it's, it's important that great Americans just understand freedom isn't free. And I think when these student athletes and their families and friends show up, you know, you get it when you walk aboard the ship, and that's why it's electric. But the teamwork, the commitment, the attention to detail, the performance under pressure are all really important things for active duty military people, officers and enlisted alike. These kids have to learn to do that, and they learn to do that on the gridiron. And if you're a cheerleader, they learn to do it in their routines. And then the student body has to support these guys so that their faculty and staff actually get excited about supporting the sports and the athletes. Learning to get up when you get knocked down, that's just a life lesson, a valuable life lesson. <laughs> uh, so for those who don't know, I I'm often credited with bringing the gala aboard the Midway. Folks, that is not what happened. <laughs> that guy, nah. I came to him... We were at a function, and I expressed my dream, and you made the dream happen. So for that, I'm forever in your debt. But it was your idea, Paul. But and, and you were so right to say it needs to be here where these young athletes can understand that they're on a bigger team at the same time as they're performing on the gridiron. This is your segment. The, the, we're paying tribute to you because ah. you also came up with this. The Admiral's Award. We're going to take, show some pictures. I don't even know if you've seen this. This is going to go, explain the Admiral's Award. This is going to be presented also at the Gala tomorrow night. Well, this, this award, in my mind, is equally as important as the Silver Pigskin. That does not diminish either. But the, the Admiral's Award is for the individual that makes the greatest impact on their community. And this is kind of the award that's going to be part of somebody's DNA as they go through life, which is what you hope all of these student athletes are doing. But this kid, whoever it is, gets to actually be recognized for, amongst his peers, for doing it now as a young person. And that's a life skill that will absolutely never change. And that's These something are the we guys all can get behind. Yeah. And they change the world. And your third great idea as it relates to the gala <laughs> is this. Talk about the flight jackets that these kids are getting from San Diego Leather, correct? Correct, correct. And they're donating one. You're picking yeah. up a bunch. Uh, uh, the Midway is, McKinnon Broadcasting. Sudbury. Even little host of this. Talk about well, the, it's the important. helicopter pilots. Oh, gosh. Well, Ivor from San Diego Helicopter, Corporate Helicopters, you know, flew in the chicken, you know, a couple <laughs> yeah, of years ago. Sure did. And that was just, that, that was fit. You know, the San Diego chicken is terrific. Landing a carrier, landing a helicopter on a carrier... You know, like, is, is this friend or foe? No, it's chicken. <laughs> and so, wow. You know, yeah, so, yeah, how neat. Anyway, they, there's a lot of people that thought that there are seven people on the stage. And then there's the Admiral's Award, and there's the Iron Hog Award. There's, you know, these people deserve to walk off with a trophy, too. And they're all going and, to... And, and they all, including the silver pigskin yeah. person, gets to walk off with a trophy that they can actually hold in their hands or wear every single day. With great pride. Uh, talk a little bit about the museums. Uh, it's just, it, you have a very benevolent hand as it relates out in the community. Talk a little bit about the half million dollars and uh, counting that are going out to, to a you know, variety of it, people. It's the, the special thing about that is, you know, we, we are in a position where we can support fire police, active duty, uh, veterans, armed services, why, USO and those kinds of things. But at the same time, what we're trying to do is promote freedom throughout our community and the world at that point. So our outreach is, is more than just financial support. It's trying to be an ideological message that, 
you know, we live in a great country. We live in a place where people on the front lines, and those are the people we're supporting economically, financially, they provide us the right to play football on Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, and all of our sports. They are protecting our freedoms at home and abroad. And so we go to great lengths to make sure we've got their back. They all get to come on board for free because they're part of our family. And that's important to us. And that's your mission and, statement, which uh, speaks volumes uh, to the great things you're doing in our community. Do you talk a little bit about, I mean, the gala is just one of many events, <laughs> unique yeah. events from basketball games to TV shows. I mean, you had American Idol on, didn't you? Well, you had American Idol and we had wrestling on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I, I mean, I, how uh, fun was that? Are you guys getting inundated with that kind of request? Is everyone coming to oh, you? Oh, there's people booking this ship out to 2030. So that's, I'm not kidding. They're, they're, they're making reservations a dozen years in advance because they know their conference is coming here and they're going to have a conference and they want to have dinner aboard the ship or something. So, and then, and, but next Friday night, there's a wedding. You know, this kind of stuff. And there's, there's change of commands, you know, and, and retirement ceremonies. There's 400 retirement and change of command type ceremonies. But there's, uh, there's 220 plus or minus events a year. And the other 140 days are reserved for kids and student overnights because we're not going to mix events and, and kids overnights at the same time in the same place. So it's uh, every night, every night's an event. Uh, Hawk, I hope we're, we're, we're your forever home for the, <laughs> as it relates to the gala because it is just so cool. Folks, visit the USS Midway Museum and stick around for the six o'clock hour of the KUSI News. It's coming up right after these short but important commercial words.